Velocity Banking in 2024, the prime rate right now is 8.5%. So when you're looking for your debt tool, when you're at stage four and stage five, when you're acquiring your line of credit, ideally anything below 8.5% is going to be attractive in this marketplace, 2024, May. So if we can find a home equity line of credit under 8.5%, a personal line of credit under or at 8.5%, those are going to be your best tools in the marketplace. Now, do they get lower than that? But only typically with an intro rate offer for six to 12 months, typically. And that's it. That should be a template for you. Look up the prime rate of where we're currently at. We go research banks and then we, we look for the banks that are offering below that. And then typically once the intro rate is expired, it'll say the rate would be prime minus. I like to look for banks that do prime minus or just prime, not prime plus, because then I'm at nine and a half. That's just me. Now you'll typically see videos where they're like, even a line of credit at 12%, 15% can do damage. Yes, it's true, but it's a half truth, all right? It's not a full truth, it's a half truth, right? I'm simply saying, why not build up our credit score? Why not do the pregame work to get the best line of credit? Why not do that, right? That's just me. So that's like a simple, quick little fact there. Now. We're going to transition to the origin of Velocity Banking. Where the heck does this thing come from and why does it have so much conflict? Why is it so unheard of? Why do people call it a scam? Why is, why is there so much misrepresentation around this, this concept? Why is it so hard for people to get? Well, let's talk about that. So the origin of this strategy comes from Australia. That's the origin where it started. And I want to say around the is when this started around the 90s now the founder who was the person that took the leap of faith and and paved the way for people like me to now talk about this publicly and and educate people on a big scale a guy named harj gill here's his book i recommend everyone buy it it doesn't hurt the book is called how to own your home years sooner and retire debt free by harj gill his website is www.speedequity.com Com. He has a software, a product that he sells to basically help people get out of debt faster. You read his book, you'll understand his positions, you'll understand his philosophy, where, where he comes from. He has a term for the strategy called Mortgage Acceleration System. Speed Equity is his company name. Mortgage Acceleration System is the first name concept idea before it was called velocity banking so then years later when he brought this to the u.s another guy came on the scene and called it velocity banking from there it got renamed to something called accelerated banking system aka the quack brothers the quack brothers named it pretty much after velocity banking so when they first discovered it it was Velocity Banking, and then they branched off, did their own thing, and built a wonderful organization that I'm in partnership with today. And I learned from them. They call it Accelerated Banking System. And then um, I have also heard the term paycheck parking. Now, paycheck parking might have been used somewhere in between this, but these are the four names that you'll typically hear when referring to Velocity Banking, which is the idea of using leveraging debt in the form of a line of credit to accelerate debt or create cash flow and wealth. Using banking products to your advantage rather than the bank using their products against you. This is the main guy, right? And I wanna read something that I thought was pretty interesting because this gentleman went through a lot of hell to uh, really bring this strategy. And what's super, you know, just interesting is just the, the history behind where where he started and how much how much money the other side has to prevent this strategy from going so let me see if i can find it for you real quick he talks about this scenario of him like being all excited um he was he was invited to california where these um mortgage bankers these different bank ceos wanted to invite him to hear what he had to say about his system and he basically got turned down because the issue was the objection okay this is great harsh but um what do i tell my investors right what do i tell my shareholders that they're going to lose billions of dollars in interest savings because these people 
Americans are paying their homes off within five to seven years or less instead of 30 years, 20 years. That's, that's so let me see. Yeah, so there's a part that just says why lenders don't want you to know about this the system and the objection is if your system is so good then why hasn't my bank told me about it right he says the short and simple answer to that question is because they stand to lose billions of dollars in interest if they were to do so in fact this is such a threatening concept to their bottom line that staff at some of the biggest banks in australia actively tried to discredit and his system when my original book was launched in 1997 it says you see the job of every banker is to maximize profits for their shareholder and the way they do that is to sell you a 30-year mortgage so they can keep you charging interest for all those years if all of a sudden they started teaching you how to pay off your mortgage in a third or even half the time, just imagine what it would do to their bottom line, right? For example, based on the latest data I gather from home loan borrowers that are using this system, the average amount of time and interest they are saving on a 30-year mortgage is as follows. $109,000 interest saved, 16 years. Now this is back in the 90s, right? So just keep that in mind. Multiply these savings by 100,000 homeowners and you have nearly $11 billion in saved loss interest depending on whether you are borrower or lender. Even if the average interest savings was only $10,000 per homeowner, that still equates to over a billion dollars lost in interest on the bank side. So the banks are set up in such a way where of course they're not going to teach this. A, it's not profitable. B, can you imagine having to train staff employees by the hour to educate you on how to do this strategy? Do you know how stressful that is? They have to teach, they have to teach their staff how to be a coach, how to be a counselor, because there's a human factor in the strategy. It's not just strategy. There's also the human factor in all of it. So I'm just going to, you know, fast forward a little bit here. And there's a part where he basically talks about getting invited. Uh, in the summer of uh, 2004 at the annual Mortgage Brokers Association Convention in San Diego, right? They invite him. He makes his presentation a few months in. He's like, the bank CEO is like, uh, I, I guess that's why he was a CEO. He says, I get it. You know, CEO says, I get it. This is a brilliant concept, but how do you expect me to explain this to my stockholders that they're going to lose tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions in profits in the next quarter if we start telling our customers about it. Mr. Harge says, I completely understand your concerns and it's not the first time I've been met with that objection from someone in your position. You see, what I'm advocating here is a long-term strategy that will not only increase your profits, but will set you apart from every other mortgage lender in the country. By showing your clients how to own their own home years sooner with this system, you will not only have them paying back their mortgages in record time, which means lower default rates, but they will most likely move up into a bigger home or be in a position to purchase a second home much sooner than they had anticipated. Before he had a chance to interrupt, the guys continued. He says, furthermore, if you do the right thing by your customers by giving them the right loan products to implement this system, you will not only have a client for an entire lifetime, but they will most likely recommend you to everyone they know because of what you did for them. This is true. Yes, there is potential for reduction in short-term profits. However, you will more than make up for it by capturing a large market share, reduced delinquencies, lower acquisition costs due to repeat and referral business, as well as generating immeasurable goodwill by sending a message to every homeowner in this country that you are on their side, right? So the CEO of that time was like, yeah, I see your point and all that, but we're not gonna move forward with you. Because he exposed this to the banks, that got around and the banks ended up a, you know, putting a marketing campaign out there to basically discredit this guy in Australia, right? Calling it a scheme, scam, you name it. And so this, this dude had to go through a lot. So I, I, it's a good read. I suggest you read it, check it out. That's the origin. So it's like, okay, this started this strategy started in Australia. Then it came to the United States. There's banking products that exist that the banks don't even want you to know about. You go to the bank's website, it's not on their front page. It's not on their second page. It's like on the back page. And even when they do display it, they don't give you all the details. It's vague. And then they trick you. The banks have taught Americans how to use their home equity line of credit the way they want you to. Every single bank will, will share on their site, get a home equity line of credit for large purchases, home renovation, emergency fund. Think about the marketing behind that, not get a home equity line of credit to accelerate your amortized mortgage loan in about five to seven years. There are only three institutions that I know today that are actually 
educating their client on how to accelerate their home. And I think these three banks stand the test of time. They're not going to fail when many other banks will because they're attracting the right kind of customer, the perfect borrower, and they understand the long-term view on this. And they still sell regular mortgages, but they also have a whole department dedicated to educating their clients on how to accelerate mortgage, their primary mortgages and mortgages, right? So that's University Bank, First Savings Bank, All-in-One Loan, CMG Financial. These are the three institutions. Two of them are banks. The other one is just like a like an organization and they and they work with other banks, right? That actually issue the product being a, a home equity line of credit in the first position. Only three banks. Now that you see like, okay, the vast majority of banks don't want you to know this. They will lose money. They'll lose billions of dollars if Americans start getting out of debt sooner. And there's only three banks and a couple of content creators that have very little credibility. I mean, look at me, 28 years old, talking about a random strategy called Velocity Bank. Like how credible is this kid? Where does he come from? Does he have a banking background? Does he have a degree? No, 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 and no. Over 240 something thousand subscribers, the most relevant and active content creator I, I would I would argue for the Velocity Banking Method. Has she ever worked in a bank? So we're talking low credibility for the for the people that are advocating for the strategy. People like me, people like Christy Van. Then you have um, Kana J. Wallace. I don't know what his background is either. But again, like to you being new to say YouTube or this particular space, we're random people on the internet talking about a foreign strategy. That already sounds like Ugh, too good to be true, right? I agree with you. Uh, like I totally agree with you. So you've got Kana J, Christy Van, myself, I, I would argue are the three most active people talking about velocity banking the most on their YouTube channel. Then you have the Quack Brothers. Then you have uh, Matthew Pillmore, VIP Financial Education. And then there's maybe a couple other channels, but they're so much smaller not as active and some that um, are big are no longer active so we're talking a handful of people that are actually educating and coaching and teaching about this a handful a handful not a whole lot of credibility right and then we're only talking three banks that are teaching and actually supporting the content creators me and other guys but me i think long term 40 years from now We'll see how that looks 30 years, 20 years from now. We'll see if the messaging switches. That's all it takes is the person with the bigger pocket to dump a ton of money in the marketing and to convince a nation of people why you shouldn't get a 30 year mortgage. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that? Like, think about that. Like there will be a time where getting a first lien HELOC is more advantageous than a 30 year mortgage. And the banks teach you how you can get this first lien HELOC, pay off your primary, and then leverage the equity in your primary to go acquire another property, do velocity banking on that, pay that off, then get another property and basically spend the next 30, 40 years doing that strategy. And then you create your own pension plan through passive income in real estate. Like, can you imagine that? The marketing behind that's insane. It's just not gonna happen, right? Not anytime soon, but maybe in the future. That's my hope. So Origin, Harge Gill, put this in your notes, get this book, it's a good read. How to own your home years sooner and retire debt free. This is the guy, this is the OG of the concept. And then you've got people like me that are now explaining it, sharing it today. And then you've got the different names, mortgage acceleration system, velocity banking, accelerated banking, paycheck parking. Now you're left with, how can I have someone help me do this, right? What are my options to start doing this? So you've got the DIY option, do it yourself, YouTube University. You watch me, you watch Christy, you watch others, you subscribe, you watch our content. We post actively and that helps you craft your strategy together. I just gave you a five-step formula that's free and will teach you the concept and you will do it, right? Like I'm that confident in my content that you can do this on your own and never actually have to pay me a dollar. I truly believe that because I'm someone that doesn't leave the details out. I give every detail, which is why my videos are so long, right? So if you're willing to sit and wait and watch those videos, I can assure you, you can do the strategy.